for tonight. The community is coming together to support one of their own who was badly injured in the bombings. Heather Abbott had to have her left leg amputated below the knee and will now need to be fitted with a prosthetic next month. Tonight, a special fundraiser is being thrown in her honor. Eyewitness News reporter Mara Kennedy joins us live with the details from the East Bay Mobile Newsroom in Newport. Mara? Catherine, after being hit by one of the Boston bombs, Heather Abbott was told by doctors she could either amputate her leg or live with it in pain and limited use. So this past Monday, she had a portion of her leg amputated. Now medical bills are mounting, so friends and family are getting together to help raise funds. Even from her hospital bed in Boston, Heather Abbott gets to be with friends and family in Newport as they celebrate her life and recovery almost two weeks after the Boston bombings. She waves to the crowd of supporters who are raising money Sunday with live entertainment and t-shirt sales. This is something we do well when one of our own, um, you know, local um, is going through a tough time. We all give up our week. We give up our day. We have families here. Um, whole families giving up their entire day, 12 hours today, 15 hours today, so it's great. Around 1,000 people from across the area come here, hoping to help Abbott as she was hit by the bomb at the Boston Marathon. She and a group of friends were walking into the bar forum to visit her friend, Julie Weedham. Three girls were walking in, you know, Heather being amongst them, being at the end of the line, and when the bomb went off, so they all got pushed into the building. One of our friends had said to me, Julie, I think Heather's out front, and I was, I went into a mode um, of grabbing towels and trying to make tourniquets and grabbing ice. Abbott's foot had been badly damaged. Doctors amputated a portion of her leg this week. Friends and family say she's staying positive with such great support, even if it means seeing it through a video cam. I did talk to Heather on the video camera. She was very happy and smiling the whole time. You know, I'm wearing one of the pins they were handing out, and if you see anyone in the Newport area or Rhode Island with the Heather Strong shirts, now you know what they're for. Reporting live with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Mark Kennedy, Eyewitness News.